Good afternoon, YouTubers. And how are you doing this afternoon? It is now 49 degrees up here in Northeast Ohio, and it's been raining off and on. But it's still beautiful. All right, I know I did Matthew verse six through thirteen, but they kind of like split the Lord's prayer, so I'm gonna go back to verse nine and start from there. This is how Jesus told them to pray. Nine, pray. Therefore, like this: Our Father who is in heaven, hallowed, keep holy. Be your name. Ten. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And you know, bread could be taken two different ways there. Not just as food, but as the word of God. Give us today your words, what you want us to do. Think of it as a parable. Not just as bread, not just food for our body, but words, food for our mind. Twelve. And forgive us of our debts, as we forgive them, remitted, let go of the debts, and have given up resentment against our debtors. I hope that you can forgive your debtors, as Jesus forgives you. Because if you do not forgive your debtors, Jesus cannot forgive you. Thirteen. And lead, bring, us not into temptation. Don't allow us to be tempted by the devil or tempted to sin, mistake, do mistakes. Sin, like if you've done something you've never done. Do mistakes, do stuff you've done again. But deliver us from the evil one, Satan. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. 14. For if you forgive people their trespasses, their reckless and willful sins, leaving them, letting them go, and giving up resentment, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. You understand? If you repent your sins to God, but cannot forgive your brother or sister, or the stranger, or your best friend, then how do you expect our Father to forgive you? Fifteen. If you do not forgive others their trespasses, their recklessness, and willful sins, leaving them, letting them go, and giving up resentment, neither will your Father forgive you your trespasses. He won't forgive you if you can't forgive others. It's simple as that. If you repent your sins, but cannot repent other, you know, repent for the other people who have sinned against you, if you cannot repent for your hatefulness towards them, your angriness towards them, then you're not repenting all your sins, are you? Are you? Have you forgiven them? Forgiveness needs to be given to everybody. Everybody who has done you wrong or who you think has done you wrong. Everybody needs forgiveness. You expect God to forgive you. You've repented of your or your all your sins, right? And you expect God to forgive you. Well, then you need to forgive your brothers and your sisters. Not just in our family. All the brothers and sisters in the world. Everybody is your brother and sister. I don't care what color their skin is. What ethnicity they have. What religion they have. 
They are still your brothers and sisters in the eyes of our Father, are they not? If you repent for your sins, can you not expect them to repent for theirs? And if they do, will you not forgive them? 16. And whenever you are fasting, going without food and praying, do not look gloomy and sour and dreary like the hypocrites. Don't show that you are fasting. Do not show that you are fasting. Why do you need the praise of men? What is their praise worth? Not a damn thing. For they put on a dismal contentence that their fasting may be apparent to and seen by men. Truly I say to you that they have the reward in full already. They had what they got. They got to show it to you. You praise them for fasting. Oh, look at them. They're so, oh, they're so godly. They're fasting. Look at them. Look how much in pain they are. They are home so hungry. Oh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You're an ignorant ass. You and you are not with God. Repent for your sin of showing off. Who are you trying to please? People or your father? Repent for your evilness, you sinful Christian. 17. But when you fast, prefer perfume. Perfume. Perfume your head and wash your face. 18. So that your fasting may be noticed by men. So that your fasting may not, may not be noticed by men. Don't show men that you are fasting. Don't prove to men how good you are. Why the hell do you care what men think about you? Men are nothing. Your brothers and sisters in the world are nothing. Their thoughts about what you are doing should mean nothing to you. It is what your father thinks of you that means everything. So that fasting may not be noticed by men, but by your father, who sees in secret. And your father, who sees in secret, will reward you in open. I gotta check time. Give me a second. Seven. Okay. 19. Do not gather and heap up and store up for yourself treasures on earth. Do you store everything? Have you collected a great number of stuff? We have. Douglas has some CDs galore. He used to be a DJ. So he has a crap load of CDs. Yeah, I don't like that word. He has a shit ton of CDs. And I mean a ton of them. He's got four racks. Hopefully they fit in a box that's going to go in the truck. Because if not, guess what? They get left behind too. Guess what? We're only taking clothes that we wear. And the rest will be donated. Guess what? We're not taking the beds. We're not taking the table. We're not taking the dressers, the TVs. They're getting donated to our daughter. Do not store up for yourself treasures on earth where moth and rust and worm consumes and destroy and where thieves break through and steal. Are you a hoarder? Do you have a shit ton of toilet paper, paper towels, water, canned food? box food, frozen food. What's going to happen if the electricity goes out? There goes all that frozen food. Oh no! You're going to cook it up and donate it to the neighbors that are hungry and starving? No. Don't lie. You lying, sinning Christian. Do not lie, you greedy, sinning Christian. You will not give it to your 
brother or sister who is in need. Do not stand there and lie to me. Because you are not just lying to me. You are lying to your father. I don't care if you lie to me. I am nobody. Do not sit there and lie to your father. If the electricity went out right now and you had all that shit ton of food stored up in your freezer, what would you do? You would throw it away. You would not cook it up and give it away. Repent, you evil Christian. You backsliding evil Christian. You are no better than the ones that hung Christ on the cross because you do not help your fellow man, woman, brothers, sisters in Christ, out of Christ, around Christ, through Christ. You notice the word, right? Christ. You that store up all your money and that. What's going to happen to it when you die? You greedy Christians. How dare you call yourself a child of God? You need to repent your sins. Not to me. You better get on your knees and repent to your father. Do you notice the message in today, in this lesson? Oh, I hope you get used to hearing it, because guess what? Repentance is the key. Repentance is the way. Repentance is the narrow way that will lead you into the kingdom of heaven. Are you going to the kingdom of heaven? Or are you going through the wide entrance to the kingdom of eternal damnation and flame of fire? Are you going to be toasty, warm, burning in that eternal flame of damnation? Or are you going to be eternally loved by your Father and your brother, Christ Jesus? Repent, Christians. And you that are not Christians, that do not know Jesus, you need to repent. Get Christ in your life. Repent. All right, my brothers and sisters, I shall return. I made it from, <laughs> from 9 through verse 20, and I will start off with verse 21 when I come back. Key word. Repent. Repent, 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 my brothers and sisters. The kingdom of God is at hand. Do you not see what is going on in this world? Repent, my brothers and sisters. Repent. I love you guys. Peace be in you. Repent. Repent, please, my brothers and sisters, repent. Repentance is the way into heaven. I love you guys. The word of the day is repent.